was a, I was a little, I was a little like, like damn. Yeah. The first things first, please do not come for my hair. I just washed it and my hair is a little wild. And it's doing its own thing right now. But anyway, that ain't even why I'm here. Listen, this was a really bad time to pull the race card. That her color, the color of her skin has nothing to do with that. She makes everything from scratch. I mean everything. Okay. I'm sorry that maybe your peanut butter and jelly sandwich didn't get as much likes and views. I'm sorry that it didn't make the shade room, but that has absolutely nothing to do with her. Okay, um, I enjoy both of y'all content. I don't understand why race had to be a factor in this, but hey, you know, keep doing you, and maybe you know you'll make the shade room one day. Hell, I don't know, but it's peanut butter and jelly. Okay, just chill out. Have a good day. I was a, I was a little, I was a little like, like damn. Yeah. The oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Let's make a midnight snack as in let's make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich from scratch So it's super easy to make any nut butter All you need is raw unsalted nuts and you roast them in the oven for about 10 minutes until they're roasted And then as you see me right here I'm just mixing together a mixture of berries if you want to use Concord grapes That's fine and I toss them in some sugar and let those sit for 15 minutes while we blend our roasted nuts with a little bit of salt for 15 minutes and while that's blending for 15 minutes minutes until it looks like a nice creamy paste we'll have our berries simmering in sugar and lemon juice on the stove on medium heat for 15 minutes before we puree it until it looks something like this and it coats the back of a spoon and looks thick like jam and we have fresh bread and we're going to slather our nut butter which is not from a peanut but it's from an almond and we're going to assemble our sandwich and try not to wake our parents up in the middle of the night and yes this might not look practical but baby it was so delicious okay you wish you had this sandwich okay making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for my boyfriend that video has absolutely blown up everywhere on like every single platform and it's crazy so thank you guys for that but everyone just keeps coming for my boyfriend like he literally doesn't do anything he doesn't demand food. Like, this is all me. Th these are all my ideas. He's not like, oh, I'm hungry. Make me something. It's not it. Like, he's fully capable of making himself food. It's literally because I want to. I love cooking. Like, this is what I want to do. Like, I want to be a professional chef. Like, I'm on Next Level Chef. This is what I want to do. My boyfriend does not demand food at all. So, I really need people to stop coming for him because he don't do anything. And, and I didn't feed the dog. That was her. <laughs> yeah people are also commenting like oh he fed the dog the food that was me that was a white hand that was a white hand but yeah like my boyfriend does not demand anything he wouldn't care if i didn't cook for him for the rest of his life i didn't start cooking for him until last year and we've been together for three years so <laughs> this is just what i like to do like i'm passionate about it and it's by choice he literally would not care if i stopped cooking for him out of nowhere all right guys let's talk about something like like damn so that video was obviously about me. I didn't know about that video, but someone had mentioned it. She has me blocked, so I didn't know about the video. But it's going off of that peanut butter and jelly sandwich video that I made, everything from scratch. She's claiming that I had stolen her idea, making one thing straight. I did not steal her idea. I have never even seen her account before. I've never seen that video before. I've had this idea for the longest time, and um, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches were invented before you. I'm coming on here clear my name because I don't like anyone lying on my name because I work so hard on all my videos. Um, I would have liked if she did come towards me and message me personally saying, hey, did you like take this? I just don't like how she jumped to conclusions. So that's why I am posting this on here because she never messaged me privately. I would have liked that and I would have said, oh, no, like I did not take your idea because it is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and it has been um, around for the longest time. But I'm just putting this on here because I did not steal your idea. I've had this idea since December when my boyfriend and I were long distance. I wanted to wait to do this video until he was here. I'm so sorry your video did not blow up like mine. I know it sucks, but I did not take your idea. I hate drama. That's why I cook and mind my business. With that being said, I don't want anyone to send her hate because I know people are going to... I don't want any hate, none of that. I'm just putting this video out there so people know I did not steal your idea. And I really don't appreciate you lying on my name and lying and saying that I did that without even coming to me first. Making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for my boyfriend. So I tell him this one of me. He making fun of me. His girl is a bum of me. Like that boy is a cat. Can't home, but I know where he at. Like, but he blow her back. Think about me because he know that it's fat. And it's been what it been. Follow him like he'll send me a pen. Look at my shit because he know what I'm on. I want
Oh, 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 oh,